The more I look at Harkel marriage the more I've come to believe it's a business arrangement, not a union based on love. Harry has apparently attempted to allay his worries by contacting his older brother Prince William for some advice, the Mirror reports. A source claims that, Harry is starting to wonder if they made the right decision leaving England. He's even suggested divorce with Meghan to return to London and the royal family. The Duchess is said to not be as keen on the thought of returning to Britain and was taken aback after learning that Harry had reached out to William. Last night according to a source close to him, Harry wants to leave Meg and go back to London because he has recently discovered some of Meg's creepy habits that make him unbearable and really want to divorce. A source close to the couple leaked that Harry No. Marcus took Meghan to meet a billionaire in an L.A. hotel who has a net worth of $6.4 billion and is the owner of a huge real estate block. This person is said to know Marcus from Soho House. He was unimpressed when he first met Meghan but was still polite. Meghan asked for the billionaire's home address, but his assistant said no. The name of this mysterious rich man is unknown, but he's 65 years old and married. Megan calls Marcus her best friend. He has a network of houses for edible hotels where the rich know they can go for entertainment and to make connections. Megan expects a billionaire level lifestyle, and Marcus is trying to help her. It's why Marcus is in the most recent pictures I see of her. He's looking for a next man. He's Megan's fixer. Once he can establish her with a new man of wealthier or higher echelon than a prince from the British royal family, then she'll fly the coop. Tyler Perry is too smart to be an ex Mark. Jeff Bezos has taken, while the Getty dude has his kids watching like hawks. Can't see the likes of Spielberg and Lucas leaving their wives for this hoe, and better yet, she's getting too old for the game. She may want those rich Russian oligarchs and Saudi princes, but when they have young 20 year old models with actual legs for miles, not a middle aged woman who is married to former royalty. Usually when Harry's away, Meghan plays. She only trots her husband out with her to get more press. Otherwise, we'd never see them together. He doesn't need A for press. He's the star in their relationship, which is why she emasculated him so badly and uses him as arm candy whenever she needs validation from the international press. She knows she's nothing without his name attached to hers. So she's gotta have him following her at every event while she doesn't need to bother with this problem. If all of this was known prior to the wedding, you would think the match would utterly have been forbidden. This will go down in history as the time a harlot joined the royal family. Not being judgmental, just trying to show how history focuses in on these sorts of things until everything else about the person becomes obscured. It will be interesting to see how history remembers Harry. Will it be sympathetic or brutal? Harry wrote in the spare, when he first saw Meghan, he could not believe his eyes, ooh exclamation mark dot 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 what a beautiful girl. Don't believe Harry wrote it, it must be Meghan, herself. How can Harry thinks, ooh, what a beautiful girl, when Meghan was 36, much older than the woman who took his virginity. Oh, definitely, it was Meghan who wrote it.